Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to round to one, two, and three decimal places. So the tenths, hundredths, and thousandths. Now rounding shows up all throughout math, and really life as well. So being able to round is important, no matter what class, level of math, or goal you are working towards. Let's jump into number one, where we have a fairly long decimal. We're going to round that decimal to one, two, and three decimal places. So the tenths, hundredths, and thousandths. In other words, we are going to cut this decimal off after one, two, and three decimal places. We'll start with the tenths, which is rounding to one decimal place. The first thing that we're going to do find the digit in the tenths place, which is the digit one place to the right of the decimal. There's a seven in the tenths place. Now we need to take a look at the digit to the right in the hundredths. Is that digit four or less or five or more? Basically, we are seeing if this is closer to seven tenths or eight tenths. That digit to the right tells us this. Well, the digit to the right is a four. Four is four or less, so we stay the same. This rounds to seven tenths. So what we did here, we took that long decimal and cut it off after the tenths place using rounding. Now this is the approximate sign. I use that because we have an approximate rounded decimal. Our original decimal isn't exactly equal to seven tenths. So we use that approximate sign to show that we rounded. Let's move on to the hundredths, which is rounding to two decimal places. The hundredths place is two places to the right of the decimal. There's a four in the hundredths place. Let's take a look at the digit to the right in the thousandths place, and that's going to tell us if we stay the same or round up. Basically, we are seeing if this is closer to 74 hundredths or 75 hundredths. That digit to the right tells us this. Nine is five or more, so we round up. This rounds to 75 hundredths. So what we did here, we cut this decimal off after the hundredths place by rounding to the hundredths place. Let's move on to rounding to the thousandths, which is rounding to three decimal places. The thousandths place is three places to the right of the decimal. We have a nine in the thousandths place. Let's take a look at the digit to the right in the ten thousandths place. There's an eight. So that eight tells us if we are closer to 749 thousandths or 750 thousandths. Eight is five or more, so we round up. Now we're rounding up a nine. When we round up a nine, we get 10. The zero from the 10 goes in the place we are rounding. We regroup the one from the 10 to the next place to the left. So we have one and four, that gives us a five in the hundredths. Bring down the seven in the tenths place, the decimal, and then the zero to show that we do not have any whole numbers here. So this rounds to 750 thousandths. So we cut this decimal off after the thousandths place by rounding. Now I do want to mention that there are different ways to think through rounding up a nine. I dropped the link to my video about rounding up nines down in the description if you need more examples. Let's move on to number two where we have 24 and then some decimal digits. Let's start by rounding to the tenths place we have a zero in the tenths place. Look to the right, there's a two. Two is four or less, so we stay the same. This rounds to 24 and zero tenths, which is just 24. I included that zero though to show that we rounded to the tenths place. Let's move on to rounding to the hundredths. There's a two in the hundredths place. Look to the right, there's a five. Five is five or more, we round up. This rounds to 24 and three hundredths. Lastly, let's round to the thousandths. 
there's a five in the thousandths with a four to the right. Four is four or less, so we stay the same. This rounds to 24 and 25 thousandths. So there you have it. There's how you round to one, two, and three decimal places. So the tenths, hundredths, and thousandths. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.